Hey everybody, this is Andy Brown, I'm the head instructor at the Conver School of Real Estate in Orlando, Florida, the best real estate school in all of Florida. And I'm about to help you out right now with number 18 on our broker free uh, math practice exam, which we have on our website, climberrealestateschool.com. All right, let me read you this question carefully. If net operating income is $110,000 and before tax cash flow is $15,200, how much down payment would an investor be willing to make if he wants a 12% equity dividend rate? So first of all, let me remind you of the, the um, formula for equity dividend rate. It's before tax cash flow divided by the equity or, you know what, at the time of closing, it'd be your down payment, right? Now, I'm going to show you something interesting. Equity dividend rate is what they call cash on cash return. Is how much, uh, what kind of return does an individual investor want to make on their cash out of pocket for the down payment? You know what? They can make whatever rules they want for their own cash, can't they? Equity dividend rate is very similar to I over RV. Let me show you something. Now you recognize that. If I kind of manipulate this a little bit, I could also say, watch this, equity dividend rate is before tax cash flow over equity, isn't it? Now you've seen in other videos how I throw these things around in my little mental movie. This is also the same as for tax cash flow, equity dividend rate times equity. Does it look a little similar? It's really the same type of relationship. Which also means, and think about what they're asking here, how much equity are they willing to invest? I'm going to do the same thing you see me do a lot. I'm going to throw this baby over here. So now I've got equity equals before tax cash flow divided by equity dividend rate. And I gave you both of those. What's before tax cash flow? $15,200. All right, what is the equity dividend rate that the investor wants? 12%. So check this out. And now you got top number divided by the bottom number. And if you put those numbers into your calculator, just like you see them, you know what you get for equity? You get a $126,667. Well, that's the answer, but that's how much money the individual investor is going to put down. It's not about loan, it's how much they're putting down on this project. Because apparently, based on all the numbers, they're going to make 12% on their money, just on their money, cash out of pocket. So anyways, that's how you do number 18. There's a good chance you're going to get a question like this on the state exam, so you might want to pay attention to it. But in the meantime, I really hope that helped you. Uh, I love it when my students all pass on the first try. If you have any questions, email me at the school. Um, uh, you can find me on the website or andy.climberreschool.gmail.com. You can call anytime. 407-822-3926. But do me a favor, after you pass, let me know how you do and let me know what your experience are. I'm really dying to hear. If you need any help, let me know. Uh, above all, as usual, don't overthink this stuff and good luck on the state exam.